discovering Rainforest Way in far northern New South Wales. But the good news is you don't just have to discover it by a car. Is that right, Eric? No, the best way to do it is by boat. So we're in the Terranora River now, or Tweed River, I like to call it. Yep. Just a beautiful place to be. It certainly is, but I mean, there's lots of adventures to be had here as well, isn't there? Yep. Fishing, feeding the pelicans, crab pot pulling. Then we're going to be cooking crabs in the fires and doing the traditional side of things. And yep, also the commercial. Bring it on, O Mighty Leader. Yep, oh. Here it comes. Yep, so pull him in. Oh, we've got crabs! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Still feeding. Woohoo! Uh, wow, Look at that's that. unreal. Oh, I thought you'd push me in. No. <laughs> Look, we've got three. Well done. Oh three good-sized muddies this. there. That's massive, that one in the middle. Yeah, that's great. So he'll be a good-sized male. So this is the commercial side. OK. After this, we're going to um, go to the traditional way, go walking around in the mangroves. Oh, my gosh, that would be amazing. But no, worst-case scenario, we've got three good crabs. Yep. Let's get more. <laughs> Come on. So how often do you get to do this? Um, pretty much once a day. <laughs> Every day for the last seven years. So do you get to know the pelicans? Yes, we do. So you can just grab it by the tail or by the head if you like. Yep. And then just wave it out. Come on. And they'll either come in or you just, just throw it to them. Come on. Come on, boys. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Aren't you goofy looking things? They're great. Yeah, they're my babies. They always stay on this island. They don't actually stay on any of the other islands around okay. here. Unfortunately, a lot of fishermen, they um, cut their lines off if they hook a pelican. And you can see the one just down the back here, yeah, he's got the you line. Yeah, with the, the line out. The it's obviously out annoying him because he keeps... So they're, yeah, they're a little bit weary today because I actually rescued one yesterday. Right. But if they do get in close enough, I grab them you know, pin them down as gentle as you can and cut the line and hook out. And do you and then, think that they know you're them. helping them? Oh, they know. Yeah? yeah? They know. I rescued one a few years ago and, yeah, he come to the marina every single day. Wow. And followed me down the jetty. Oh my God, you are Storm Boy. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll get our fire ready to burn. Yeah. And then hopefully, after about half an hour of burning, we'll have the coals ready and that'll give us time to go spear a few mud crabs. And then we'll spear come... them? Yeah, and then we'll come back and um, hopefully cook a crab on the fire. I hope so. So we'll just light this one up, if I can get it going. All right, so you reckon half an hour? Yep. I'm scared. Because they've scared? got little livers. Little... Oh, we'll be all right. As long <laughs> as you don't stand on it, you'll be fine. Oh, great. OK, so tell me what we're actually looking for. Yeah, so what we're looking for is the mud crab holes or just the mud crab itself along the riverbank in the mangroves. You know, it's probably about 50 centimetres wide. Oh, wow, OK, so I saw yeah, a little yeah. hole back there, but that's yeah. not anything, is it? No, there... the hole will be big enough to fit a basketball in. Oh, wow, OK. Yeah, yeah so... should we have noticed that then? <laughs> You've just got me a little bit freaked by saying that they sometimes just sit underneath the mud because we are literally squishing our way through a lot of mud. Oh, what's your foot? Don't do that. Like, seriously, I was really cool up until that point. <laughs> uh, OK, well, that would have scared them away. <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> wow. If you look closely just in there, I'm pretty sure I can see one. Just oh, wow, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in behind oh, these huge. mangroves. Yeah, he's a good one. Do you want the spear? No, nah, I'll stand back in case he comes out here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at you go. Oh my God, that's huge. Yeah, I got him. Wow. There we go. Now, that's a nice male crab. That is awesome. How do you know it's a male? So he's got the skinny triangle underneath. OK. Just like a piece of pizza. And he actually has much larger claws than the female and a smaller body. You're very good at holding that. I think I'd be a little bit more nervous. Yeah, so this is the only way you can hold a mud crab. From By his back flippers like that. That's the only way you won't get bitten. OK. A lot of people try and grab them underneath. Yeah. Believe it or not, their claw can actually reach under. Underneath take, its belly? Yep, yeah, and take the end of your finger off. Great. Yeah. So do you want to have a hold? No. Okay. no. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this is burnt down beautifully. All right. Are you a bit shot out? Yep. So, top side first. And how long for? Um, so, I usually do it about 10 minutes yep. a side. Flicker in the middle. Put a few coals on top. Oh, that one's hot. So, that's pretty much done. Oh, wow. There you go. Do you want to go halves? I'm allergic. You're joking. I ate it every day for 14 years. Just when I thought that my day couldn't get any better. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm sorry about your allergy. Oh. Now I'm not allowed to eat it anymore. That must be heartbreaking because that is so sweet and so tender. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I mean, not that good. <laughs> I'm joking. That is outstanding. You are literally the best person to do this tour with, not just because you're knowledgeable and not just because you're awesome company, but the fact that you're allergic to the crab when you can have it like this is just amazing. <laughs> yeah, so you get it all.